Hi, welcome to Snip Back. Uh, my name is Ryan Trevithick, and I'll be walking you through a demo today on how to capture film, how to utilize some of the features within Snip Back with that film, and then also how to distribute that film out to you. Um, we're going to follow the basic demo uh, principles and features. Uh, so if you do have any questions, I uh, recommend that you get with whoever invited you on the, uh, to take a look at this or send you this link. Um, or to schedule a demo, go to uh, www.snipback.com. Uh, if you have any email or any questions, please email us at info at snipback.com. So uh, the first thing uh, with our demo is we have uh, three different ways and platforms that you can utilize our services. One is an iOS-based platform with an iPhone or iPad. Uh, you can capture film, you can review that film, you can distribute that film all through an app-based principle. Two is with the Android system. So uh, also compatible for filming needs, utilization needs, and distribution uh, the last feature and platform is the website. Uh, the website allows you to utilize and distribute, uh, but you do have to use either a permanently mounted camera system or you have to use the iOS-based system to be able to capture that film. So uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the iOS-based system. So this is, uh, for us, this is very simple. Uh, what we want to do is uh, you have your overall user organization from the top down. Uh, you'll log in, you'll have your home, and then you'll have all the different organizations that you're a part of. The simplest thing I can tell you, the simplest way to do it is if you want to capture, just go ahead and hit the recorder and it's going to open right to you. Okay, so very simple, very easy. If you want to schedule a game, uh, what you're going to do is go to games and teams and you're going to hit the plus sign at the top and then you're going to choose a date and then you can enter uh, anything such as test game one, uh, test game demo. Now we do have unlimited film. Uh, that's one of the biggest features that we have available to our clients is that you can schedule this as a game, a practice or scout film, depending on if you're uploading or filming and capturing live. Two is if you are live streaming um, and you need to create an RTMP, which is a uh, faster digital copy of what the high quality definition is that you're filming in 1080, go ahead and enable that. Um, if you have really good internet speed or you're in a cell connection, go ahead and disable. You'll be able to upload it uh, just as if you're uh, uploading any other video. And then here's the privacy settings. Uh, so everything defaults to private. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you keep it that way if it's part of your organization. Um, if you're an individual user, you also wanna make sure that you have that opportunity to make that. Ball tracking technology, this is part of the AI system for us. Uh, so the ability to track the basketball, track the football, track soccer, uh, volleyball, you just have to enable that. Um, if you don't wanna do that, uh, when you enable, uh, you just disable and do a manned camera. Or if you're using our gimbal control system or a permanently mounted camera system, you'll just disable that as well. And then a couple of new features that have been launched here are the pricing mechanisms, uh, the ability to put up a virtual paywall like an on-demand or a pay-per-view type situation. Uh, you go through here and all you do is you set the pricing that you want for that game as well. Then you're going to choose your category, uh, whatever that category might be. Um, you can easily do other category or you can do a default category. Uh, we'll just go ahead and choose basketball for this. And then you're going to choose your team. So the teams that you created pre part of that, you're going to go ahead and hit that. Um, if there's an opponent, uh, you can check if they're an opponent. You can check by searching their team name here and searching globally. Uh, so you can go ahead and search that search globally. It's going to bring up all the different powers teams, uh, which is the high school that I coach at. Um, and then if you look at uh, the other teams, you can add all the different groups that need permissions to be there. Uh, paid subscribers is a big one. Um, indiv individual trainers, if somebody needs to see it. The last thing is here is if you want to upload film, you click here. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for access to your files. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to bring up the video that needs to be accessed from there. If you're filming um, directly on the iPad ahead of time of the native camera um, or the iPhone, you can upload it there. And then you just create your game when you're completed. Once you're done with that, you can see the little camera icon here. So what you're gonna do uh, is we have our camera icon uh, set on our phone here. And so this would be just our basic review camera. And then what we do is we can control that by hitting the view and then hitting the open controller snipper. In this situation, we can see that there's one camera that's available. And so for here, what we're gonna do is we're going to start the camera and the game's gonna start being recorded. And so now we're into the utilization um, of how to utilize. There's a blend here between how we're capturing and utilizing. The camera's on, it's capturing everything, everything's moving well. Um, if we just want to let it run, we can just let it run. Not a big deal, not hard to do whatsoever. Um, once the game is over, uh, we can pause it, we can end it, we can control it from a secondary device. Um, if you're actually behind the camera, 
um, and you want to add that uh, camera feature, if you're behind that camera and you're recording, uh, you've got a couple of different options here. One is you have a snip option here that you can hit uh, to capture a moment in time. It's going to ask you to snip for yourself, your staff, or both. Um, I always choose both just so if I need to share it with my staff members. Three dots at the top, I can share that live stream URL. Um, what it does is it pops up an SMS message, allows me to be able to distribute, as you can see here. Um, and then you can change our names, very simple, very easy. So the power of the pause button is very important because in between quarters, in between uh, halftime, anything that I just hit that pause button and I don't have to worry about creating an additional video. It's still one main thread. And so I can restart when the second half starts back up um, and go from there. So if I want to control the camera on the wall or I want to control the other camera, I can go ahead and I can see here, obviously the iPad is the one that we just were using. Uh, the other camera is the main camera. Um, a couple of different uh, options for here is when I press and hold, I can capture a snapshot so I can see what that camera is looking at. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so it'll give you that freedom to be able to take a look and have a peek at what you're looking at. Uh, but then now we're going to get into the utilization part of that. One, if I see something as a coach, I want to uh, break down. I hit the red button and now I can take as much time on this as I want. Um, so if I want to go into advanced tagging, I can choose different layers of tags. So if I'm, you know, if I want to have different tag lists at once, I can do that. Um, if I just want to have uh, individual tag lists, I can do, choose the individual tag list um, as well. If I want to label that tag, so this is what we call live coding. So for our uh, Division One, Division Two clients, our high school coaches that are really diving deeper into uh, coding, uh, some of our semi-pro and pro teams use this uh, with their video coordinators. They go ahead and hit this button and then they can capture it and they can code it out based on a preset list. So let's take a look at these lists for a second. So as we go through here, custom tags, you've got unlimited amount of customizable tag list, and then you have unlimited amount of custom tags. So your video coordinators, your coaches that want to be able to code out the game prior to uh, Friday night film review or Tuesday night film review and you want to tag it out live. This is how we do it in our program. Uh, we do that. Uh, so we tag out currently uh, live during the game. So that's what you're doing. You open the controller snipper. Uh, you can access it through the three dots and you hit that moment. And then you can actually even go further and you can tie it directly to a player. So all this is valuable for the moment in game. So when I go into the game and I want to review that game, I click on it and you'll see going to just be a video of me doing the video right here. So you can see that um, here's the availability of all those snips that we just looked at. If I want to draw on this now, uh, this is the other powerful feature is that I can draw on live video and it's just screen recording the entire thing. It's also screen recording by voice and it gives us the freedom as coaches to be able to teach in that moment um, and to be able to help those individuals uh, that we're teaching or walking through to get to capture those moments. Um, if you're using it for something other than something other than sports, so if we're using that for something other than sports, it is important to be able to understand that parents can have access to this as well. So if we dive into something like academic based events, so um, as we go into parents will have the ability to snip. So commencement, uh, recitals, concerts, things like that gives you the availability to uh, actually snip. Parents can snip off of your cameras. Um, if you give them permission, that's what those other groups are there for when you created the game. So game goes on, game is over. Uh, all we have to do is hit the end button. Um, if we have a different game that we want to migrate those cameras to, we can hit the migrate and I can choose a different game and I can easily move those cameras. So if we're going from a freshman game to a JV to a varsity or from a, a you know, nine o'clock game to a 10 o'clock to 11 makes it very easy. Um, and then all we have to do is just end the game uh, once the games are done for the day and then once those are ended, it ends the cameras for all of them. Um, and then we go into the game system and you'll see the, again, just the utilization of watching that film back very easily. So um, once it's doing that, a couple of things that it's going to look at doing is you're going to have a couple of different issues with uploading. So a lot of questions we ask is, you know, how do I get everything uploaded? One, the if you are connected to a Wi-Fi internet stable connection, it will automatically upload files as you go. Um, so that is number one. Uh, number two is if you have filmed, but you closed the camera, a battery died, whatever it might be, you're going to want to go to uh, view status, which is on the three dots. And in that view status, it's going to show 
um, the camera here, like this was the iPad that we recorded, is paused. I can process that now, uh, knowing that I've got two files recorded, two files uploaded, that it's fully processed, um, or fully uploaded, rather. I can go ahead and process that now. And it's going to start the MP4 merging and can see here that that game is starting to go. So what it's doing now is it's actually going into uh, identifying the different AI features. Uh, it's going to go into identifying the different uh, opportunities that that has to make sure there's a ball tracking needed, is stats needed, are, uh, you know, breaking down uh, ODK for football, is that needed? All the different AI features that come along with Snipback, that's what it's processing takes a minute for it to do that, about five minutes or so. Once it does that, then it's good. So now we're going to move over uh, into the distribution center, uh, the distribution uh, basis of this. So um, as we go through and we have different films, different things that we want to create, um, there's different ways that we can now distribute that film. Okay, One is we can distribute film by simply hitting the three dots and sharing that film externally. And when we share that film externally, we can hit the copy we can email it, opens an email up right away. Facebook, Twitter, it just takes that email, the URL, and puts it out there for us. Two, um, I can do a pool share. So I can create a pool. And so if we just want to do like, a, we'll just do a test pool or a sample pool, rather. And what it is, is we make it private. Uh, we can add users. So I can add, you know, Ryan at snipback.com. Um, I can add sales at snipback.com. And I can do all that. I can exit them out if I need to. And then I create that pool. Once I do that, um, I can take any film that I have um, and I can take that and move that film directly into that sample pool. The user on the other end will receive an email that says, you know, Ryan Trevithick has shared with you uh, Cheer Comp 2. Click here to download that video. And so it sends them a URL download link. So if you're in a conference where you don't have uh, the availability to be able to uh, share with other film providers, uh, either they're using Quick Cuts or Huddle or Synergy, uh, you can add them directly to the My Pools if, as long as they have an email on record uh, with a Snipback account. So very simple, very easy. On the other side of that uh, is we actually take film uh, from those. All we need is a downloadable link. So an email from Huddle, a Google Drive email, a Dropbox email. If you forward that email directly to uh, your organization email, which if you go up to your organizational settings in your profile, you'll see that there's an email address right here. We copy that and we paste that uh, and send that uh, email for the email to there. It will download in our scout um, and be listed directly in our scout section uh, for the film that we want to upload. So um, very simple, relatively easy. Uh, so I guess now I want to dive in a little bit of what some of the features are uh, with our, our program on the different things that we can do. Um, one, so when I'm looking at stats, okay, so we have a stats package that you can upgrade from the basic license package. Uh, the stats package include individual uh, statistic sheets. And so what this does is it gives you the opportunity to uh, pull stat reports. So you can see an individual box score, you can kind of see all this stuff, uh, opponents, all that, uh, the quarters uh, makes it nice. Or I can go to a stat report and I can pull multiple games. Um, if I want to pull this for the whole season, I'll take out that scrimmage at the bottom, and I can run that report. What this is going to do while it's pulling the report, it's pulling all the players' uh, generated details. Um, and then one, what it's doing is creating a cumulative report for the season. It's creating an aggregate report for the players for the season. And then each individual player has their own report. Um, so we do stats for baseball, basketball, softball, football, hockey, um, soccer, lacrosse. So we do the major sports. Um, you know, the only sports that we don't really do any stats for uh, are the subjective sports uh, like swimming, diving, uh, gymnastics, things that have uh, very much subjectivity with judges uh, scores in there. And then lastly, with that stats, when you pull up a game, um, every statistical category that you have available to you is going to be uh, tagged out as an individual SNP. Um, so down here at the bottom, when you go to stat snips, these are all the statistical categories that are a part of the box score. Um, and when we try to filter that, you can see, show me all my turnovers. And then I can filter that by a specific player. Um, I can filter it and take a look at each one of those turnovers individually if I want to do that. Um, we also have the ball tracking technology that zooms in 40%. This has since been upgraded. Uh, so we have a little bit better, <laughs> excuse me, clarity 
on the ball tracking. So we're excited to release that and have that available. You can always zoom in. Uh, that's the one nice thing is you can always have the opportunity to zoom in. Now with the ball tracking, you do have to have the camera set for the entire court. So if you look at your basic camera system, um, if you use our permanent cameras, you can see here on the way gym, we're using an iPad and didn't have a wide lens. So we're, we're stuck without the corners. Um, but if we had an iPhone, we could easily see that uh, in the corners because they do the iPhones have a great wide lens camera. Um, with that, you also have the box score that's directly in the game itself, which is nice. Uh, you don't have to run a report or do anything outside of that. And then if I want to create a playlist for the whole year, uh, I've filtered out all my stats. I hit this little plus button and it's going to pull up all the different playlists that I have for the year. And so I can make ones if let's just say I've got uh, athlete for multiple events or multiple uh, organizations. So high school and club, um, I can do that multiple teams. I can pull them and then I can just add those directly to that organization early on in the year. makes it really simple. So I'm able to pull that information relatively easily across the board. Um, so other than that, I know there's a lot here, guys. I know there's a lot as you're watching from home and trying to maybe have made it this far through the demo. Um, I do want to give you some reprieve just knowing that uh, it does feel like drinking through a fire hose at times. Uh, but if you go to the tutorial section uh, in your film, you're going to see a lot of these how-to videos. Um, you know, just kind of as the, as the system has grown and adopted, we've tried to make things a lot easier. Uh, but we wanted to do a full demo for you uh, to make sure that you had an entire understanding of of how we use the system, how we grow the system, um, the different things that have added to it. Um, there is one major piece that's left to this, uh, and this is more tied to our schools that are interested in the recruiting piece when it comes to college coaches and getting film out to college coaches. Uh, there's a recruit function right here, and when you click on that, uh, you add college coaches as members to your organization as a recruit. They get to access to your team list, and then they get access – uh, to your team roster so they can go through and find a roster of an athlete that they want to use um, for that so uh, if they choose this uh, they'll go that then they pull the stat information uh, style information which the stat information's uh, all their stats you can see here style is just a basic evaluation tool so it's a functional moving uh, tool here uh, you can add temperament iq athleticism just notes for the college coach and then they can put notes on player here um, we can put that we offered, we declined, we signed, we evaluated, and we saved that. Um, once that's updated, we go to film, and I can watch all that film of that athlete. And so very easy for me as a college coach to be able to go through and find that. Um, I can go through and find different coaches, different players, um, based on, you know, the information that they have um, and who we want to evaluate. And then if I want to just do following, it makes it easy because I can just follow as that athlete or that coach as well. So um, new features coming out with that. i um, excited to share that with you. Um, but uh, if you have any questions, again, please make sure that you uh, reach out to us. Uh, we're, we're definitely here to try to help coaches uh, take their games to the next level, uh, help athletes find a more efficient way of learning film. Uh, but we'd love to be able to talk more with you guys uh, as a school, as an organization, as a club. Um, if you're trying to film, uh, it's 100% uh, definitely, uh, I think, a value uh, to be able to show that you can film things that are not just sports related. Um, you know, I have a daughter was in a play choir uh, just recently, uh, show choir. And so she was, uh, we were able to film that and live stream that uh, to our family out of town. And so uh, there's a lot of other benefits that come along with it, but uh, probably too long to be able to make a whole recording out of it. So um, hope you guys have a great uh, day. Thank you for stopping by. And if you have any questions, again, please get back with the person that sent you the link to be able to watch this video or to uh, sign up for a demo at snipback.com. Um, and maybe I'll see you on there. All right. Take care and have a wonderful day.